You look really scary. I know. Why don't we each tell some scary stories? Mm. <laughs> We're not afraid. Once upon a time, there were two girls who were riding their bikes through a spooky wood. It began to get dark, and they could hear owls hooting in the trees above them. They began to feel really, really scared. Suddenly, the chain came off their bikes, and they got stuck. They were so scared and shaking that they couldn't pull the chains back on. We're never going to get out of here! Then they heard a strange noise somewhere in the woods behind them. They slowly turned around, and there, in front of them, was a ghost! G -g -g ghost! The two girls were frozen to the spot. The ghost began to come closer and closer. Go away! The ghost floated right through them and over to the bicycles. Hey, get away from our bikes! All of a sudden, the ghost vanished, and the girls saw that the chains on their bicycles had been magically fixed. Whoa! Whoa! Clementine, that wasn't scary. It sounds like a friendly ghost. Leo? Uh, I'm not scared. I was pretending. <laughs> I'll tell you a really scary story. Once upon a time, there was a boy who lived on a farm with his daddy. They built a scarecrow to frighten the birds away from eating their vegetables. That night, there was a storm that woke the boy up. He looked out his bedroom window and saw the scarecrow standing in the vegetable patch. Daddy! Daddy! The scarecrow is moving! Don't be silly. Scarecrows can't move. The daddy let the boy sleep in his room because he was scared. And soon he fell fast asleep. In the morning, they looked out the window, but the scarecrow had vanished. So, had the scarecrow really come to life? Maybe his hat just blew there? I know you're not asleep yet. I can hear you talking. Daddy, it's you! I've brought you all some hot chocolate and cookies. It's very cozy <laughs> in here. What have you all been talking about all this time? We were telling each other really scary stories. But we're not scared. No, we're not scared at all. Daddy, would you like to sleep in the den, too, tonight? I don't think I'd fit, Caillou, but why don't I sleep on the couch and keep watch in case any scarecrows come? That would be great, Daddy. Then you don't have to miss out on all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were having lots of fun playing in the garden. They were having a competition to see who could throw the ball the highest. Okay, here it goes. Oh! That was really high. It almost touched the roof of the house. You 
try, Caillou. Mine is gonna touch the clouds. Whoa! <laughs> that was close, Caillou. But I don't think it made it all the way to the clouds. Watch this! I bet I can reach the moon! <gasps> hey! Where did it go? It must have gone into space. <laughs> it's not in space. It's in the tree. Look! <gasps> oh, no! How are we going to get it down? If only we could fly or jump really high, then we'd be able to reach it. This looks like a job for some superheroes. To the Caillou Cave! <laughs> Captain Caillou, super strength! Captain Clem, night vision! Captain Leo, super speed! Okay, guys, let's go get our ball back! Look, there's a note. What does it say? I don't know. It looks like some kind of code. Don't worry. Professor Mommy is great at solving codes. We can take the note to her. Well, hello, my little superheroes. Are you on a super adventure? Yes! We're trying to solve the mystery of our missing ball. Can you help us? Well, I can try. The thief left us this note, but it's in some sort of code. You are right, Captain Clementine. It is a code. Luckily for you, I can read it. What does it say? It says, your precious ball is mine now. <gasps> if you want it back, meet me in my evil lair. Signed, Daddy, the Master Thief. Oh, no! <gasps> Where can we find the Master Thief? Well, rumor has it that his lair is in the living room. I mean, the Shadowlands. That sounds scary. Don't worry, Captain Clem. You've got the power of night vision! Oh, yeah! Come on, let's go defeat Daddy and get our ball back! <laughs> There's our ball! <gasps> Wait! It could be a trap. Don't worry, Clem. With your night vision, we can see in the dark. There. That's better. <laughs> Look out! It's the Master Thief! So, you worked out my code, did you? Quick! Captain Leo, use your super speed to tie him up! Oh no! You've captured me! Caillou, use your super strength to knock him down! <laughs> you got me. The ball is yours. You really are some superheroes. Great job, team. Let's go and find another hero adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious.
delicious. King Caillou, we have some bad news. What is it? Over there, we saw a giant shape in the sky. Maybe it was a bird? It looked like a dragon. A dragon? It was coming this way. There it is! It's a green fire breather! <gasps> How can we defeat it? It will be very hard. Dragons are always angry and very hungry. What do they eat? Teddy bears and spaghetti. Oh no! We should go and hide Sir Teddy in the dungeon. He'll be safe in there. Working out how to attack! Quick! Everyone grab a sword and shield! Okay! Is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Charge! What's going on? We're trying to scare the dragon away. Caillou, look at poor Gilbert. He looks really scared. I don't think he understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy! There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. <gasps> oh no! This dragon's even bigger! You brave knights deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy. Another dragon! <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat. Aren't you, Gilbert? likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> Watch me, Grandma! <laughs> well done, Caillou!
What's the matter, Caillou? That boy on the skateboard reminded me of when I had an accident, Grandma. Do you want to tell me about it? It might make you feel better. It was when I had a skateboard from Leo for my birthday. I couldn't wait to try it out, but Mommy said I had to wait until we got the special knee and wrist pads. Did you need a helmet too, Caillou? Yes, but I already had my bike helmet. I was too excited to wait, so I put my bike helmet on and went into the garden. I took the skateboard to the top of the path and tried to go a bit faster. The wheel hit a stone and the skateboard threw me off. I put my hand out and... I bumped my wrist on the ground. <laughs> what did you do? I was crying and holding my arm and I went to find Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caillou, what's the matter? Did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> I fell off my skateboard! <laughs> Caillou, I told you to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and get you fixed up. Mommy had to take me to the doctor who told me that I had sprained my wrist. That's not broken, but it still really hurt, Grandma. I know it hurts, Caillou. I sprained my wrist once, too. Will you want a skateboard, too, Grandma? <laughs> no, Caillou. I slipped on some ice. Did you have a sling, like me? Yes, Caillou. I had to keep my arm resting in a sling for a few weeks until it was better. Thanks, Grandma. I feel better now. Have you used your skateboard again, Caillou? <gasps> no, Grandma. I'm too scared about falling off. But if you wear all your safety gear, you can practice and you won't hurt yourself if you fall. <gasps> Oh, that looks so much fun. I wish I was your age, Caillou. I definitely want to learn to skateboard. Gosh, my arms are tired. I must have pushed Rosie on that swing 100 times. Why don't we all have a banana and then we'll have some more energy? So, Caillou, what were you telling Grandma about? About when I fell off my skateboard and hurt my wrist. It's made Caillou scared of skateboarding again. But it does look so much fun. Yes, it does. When I was a young boy, I had a pair of roller skates. I fell over a lot, but I kept practicing until I could skate without falling over. It was my favorite thing to do. Maybe you should give it another go, Caillou. Yes, I think I will. But I'm going to wear all the special pads this time. When Caillou got home, he dressed in his helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. Go, Caillou! Oh, Caillou, are you okay? I'm fine, Mommy. My guards worked! Try again, Caillou. You almost had it. <laughs> I did it! It was Christmas Eve, and Caillou was dreaming of all the wonderful toys he'd be getting on Christmas Day.
Caillou put on his winter clothes and rushed outside into the snow. Merry Christmas! Santa! Hello, Caillou! Wow! You know my name! That's my cat, Gilbert! Have you come to bring me my presents? That's exactly why I'm here. But I've run into a little bit of a problem. Poor old Rudolph here forgot to bring his scarf and has caught a cold. Without Rudolph's nose, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, at this rate, no one will get their Christmas presents. That's awful. Here, Rudolph, you can have my scarf. Grandma knitted it for me so it's nice and warm. <laughs> hey, that tickles. I think I've had an idea. Maybe you and Gilbert could help me deliver the presents. Really? That would be amazing! Great! Give me a moment. I've got just the thing. Here you go, Gilbert. Now you can light the way for us. Okay, Caillou, hop on board. We've got some presents to deliver. This is going to be great! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! You make a great reindeer, Gilbert. With you showing us the way, we'll have the presents delivered in no time. <gasps> We're so high up! Okay, Caillou. Time to deliver the first present. I'll show you. Take my hand, Caillou. Ready? Ready! Ho, ho, ho! Yeah. Wow, that was magic! Christmas magic! Thanks for helping me deliver all the presents, Caillou. I couldn't have done it without you and Gilbert. That was the best Christmas Eve ever! Rudolph says he's feeling much better after wearing your nice warm scarf. Merry Christmas, Caillou! 
Merry Christmas, Gilbert. Ho, ho, ho! See you next year! Merry Christmas, Santa! <sighs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Caillou. Caillou! Mommy, Daddy, you'll never guess what Gilbert and I did last night. We went on a sleigh ride with Santa! That sounds like an exciting Christmas dream, Caillou. It wasn't a dream. It was real. I'm sure it was, Caillou. Let's go downstairs and see all the presents Santa brought you. Presents! Before. What if I can't do it? What if I fall off? We could head down to that smaller hill. It'll be easier. I felt that same way when I was skiing. You did? Yeah! I was so excited to go skiing for the first time. My daddy suggested I try sledding instead because skiing for the first time can be tricky. But I didn't want to sled. I wanted to ski. <laughs> the lift took us higher and higher and higher. I started to feel a little nervous. Come here, Caillou. Let's get your skis on. I got into my skis and couldn't wait to get started. Okay, Caillou. Are you ready? Now, you need to bend your knees, but keep your back straight. That's very important for balance. Skiing is all about balance. Let's try going in a straight line first. All right now, Caillou, are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go! and fell over. I was so upset. I'd waited so long to learn to ski. But then I noticed Rosie and Mommy a little ways down the mountain. They were sledding! Can I, Daddy? <laughs> Of course, Caillou. You can learn to ski another time. We can start off slow. Okay, are you ready then, Caillou? Knees bent, shoulders square, get your balance. Off we go! I went so fast! It was the <laughs> best thing ever! As soon as I reached the bottom, I ran up the hill to do it all over again. I didn't lose my balance, and I got better and better. <laughs> See, Clem, my daddy was right. I should have tried sledding to begin with. But maybe... After all I've learned on the sled, 
I will be next year. My daddy always says never to run before you can walk. Let's try the smaller hill. And maybe you can do the big one next time. Hey, Caillou! Clem! Wait up! <laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah, look at what Mommy made me. Wow, what a great tie. numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. Oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show and tell. Oh, cool! <gasps> How does it work, Daddy? Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not <gasps> quite anything. <gasps> oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Finished! Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. 
Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. But it does suit you. <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> So cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. It was just another day at school. Or so Caillou thought. All of a sudden, Caillou felt a pain in his mouth. Caillou's tooth had come <gasps> loose. Guys! Look! My tooth is wobbling! Wow, Caillou! You'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy soon! Huh? The Tooth Fairy, Caillou? Whenever you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the Tooth Fairy comes and leaves something special underneath in its place! <gasps> no, Caillou! Don't do that! It'll fall out on its own! It seemed Caillou would just have to be patient. With that, Caillou decided to wait, but he was so excited for the rest of the day, he could barely concentrate in class. Later that day, after school, Caillou skipped out of the gate to meet Grandma. He couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy about his loose tooth. That's great, Caillou. Let's take a look. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that looks almost ready to come out. But not yet. Uh, Caillou waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited. Until suddenly, his tooth fell out. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, it came out! My tooth came out! That's great, Caillou. <laughs> so when will the Tooth Fairy come? Well, first you need to put your tooth under your pillow or she won't know to come and visit. Oh, right, I forgot. We'll all go up together. Okay now, Caillou, place it carefully under your pillow. And let's see in the morning what the Tooth Fairy brings you. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Mommy and Daddy. Caillou sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes <gasps> widened as he remembered what lay waiting beneath his pillow. Just then, Caillou noticed something from the corner of his eye. Something glowed in the corner of his bedroom. It was the Tooth Fairy. Well, hello, Caillou. I hear you've lost a tooth. Have you been taking good care of your teeth? <laughs> Where do you take all the teeth, Tooth Fairy? Why, back to Fairyland, of course. We use them to build our fairy castle bigger and bigger. Wow. Oh, good night, Tooth Fairy. Good night, Caillou. I'll take good care of your tooth. 
Don't forget to check your pillow when you wake up. Caillou had the strangest dream. Remembering suddenly, Caillou sat bolt upright and threw his pillow to the side. <gasps> Under his pillow was a shiny silver quarter and a note. Dear Caillou, thank you for keeping your tooth so clean. Love from the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> it was another busy day in the classroom when Mrs. Martin called for the kids to quiet down. She had an announcement to make. All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Okay, now we have an exciting thing happening at school this week. It's the school talent show. The class couldn't wait to get started on practicing their talents. But what was Caillou going to do? When Caillou got home later that day, he searched the house for things to do in the talent show. From skipping <laughs> to singing, he even tried dancing. Caillou was beginning to wonder if he'd ever find a talent for the school talent show. Hmm. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't know what my talent is. I've tried everything. Well, hey, Caillou, what about this? What do I do with this? Well, Caillou, it's a magic wand. You can be a magician in your talent show. Here. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So what magic should I do? You just wait here, Caillou. I'll be right back. Moments later, Daddy was back carrying another box. It was a hard black case, and stamped across it were the words Magic Kit. Wow! Now, Caillou, this used to be my Magic Kit when I was your age. Now it's yours. Use it at the talent show and show everyone what you can do. You sure do, Caillou. Now, get practicing. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Caillou <gasps> practiced and practiced, and the next day at the talent show, he was ready but starting to feel nervous. He was up next. Hey, Caillou. It's okay. Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Yeah, Caillou. Just go out there and have fun. <gasps> My name is Caillou, and, and I'm a magician. Behold. Caillou whispered the magic words, tapped the hat with his magic wand, and... Meet Teddy, everybody! <laughs> and now for my next trick. Look what happens to Teddy when I do this.
The crowd went wild for Caillou's tricks. He was so proud of himself. It was a family day out, and Caillou couldn't wait to explore the botanical garden. Wow! Look at all the colors! Come on, Rosie! Let's go take a look around! <gasps> Pretty! Well, Rosie, that's a sunflower. And it's yellow, like the sun, see? Sunflower? Yellow! Hmm. Okay, and this one here, it's white, just like the moon. What's it called, Mommy? Well, that one... Hmm... That one's a moonflower. Wow! Okay, so sunflowers are... Yellow! And moonflowers are... White! <laughs> That one's a rose. It's a rose. A red rose. Hmm. Roses are red. And violets are blue. Sunflowers are yellow. And... Buttercups, too. Moonflowers are... White! Tree leaves are... Aren't these, these the, the greatest, greatest colors, colors you've, you've ever seen? seen? <laughs> <gasps> what is that? That's pollen, Caillou. It can make people sneeze. Oh. Yabo! <laughs> Good job, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Let's go and play in the maze and see if we can find the fountain. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm lost. I need to get to the middle of the maze. There's a fountain there. Well, you did a good job finding us. How did you manage that? I listened out real hard for the sound of the fountain and followed the sound to the middle of the maze. I'm proud of you, Caillou. That was really thinking on your feet. See, Caillou? Sometimes you might feel lost, but you're actually just on an adventure. Caillou loved exploring the botanical garden, but it was more fun when he was with his family and not 